Hey everyone, Dr. Rafi Wald here. I uh, just wanted to talk to you today about what I guess is somewhat of a controversial topic, though it probably should not be, uh, and that is hallucinogen therapy for anxiety, depression, and other psychological and psych psychiatric disorders. Uh, hallucinogens are uh, drugs that make people see or hear things that are not actually present. They cause people to hallucinate. So the first medication that we're going to talk about is ketamine. Ketamine has been around for a long, long time. Uh, ketamine has been used as an anesthetic in the emergency department. Um, so if a person needs a minor procedure done while they are awake, a lot of times ketamine would be administered in the past. Uh, but research has found over the years that ketamine can have a rapid effect on depression and people that or administered ketamine uh, get an alleviation of their symptoms of depression fairly quickly. The research is sort of unclear on how frequently they would need it, how many times they would need it, but it has been reasonably consistent in that there are many people that do benefit from it. What the research has also found is that um, psilocybin, which the street name is Shrooms, uh, is probably even more beneficial uh, than ketamine is in terms of alleviating symptoms of depression and because of this in the state of Oregon it has been legalized and it can be administered uh, within the setting of a psilocybin clinic again only in the state of Oregon. Uh, these are drugs that you certainly do not want to administer yourself. You do not want to try to uh, self-administer ketamine or psilocybin uh, without being under the supervision of a physician. Um, but uh, these are areas that we're learning more and more about as the years go by, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to incorporate them more regularly in the right way into practice. Uh, I hope this information helps you all, and I am looking forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.